Hey, I'm Piano Bruce, and in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you five piano exercises to get piano fingers. So first of all, we're going to start by sitting in the right position. You want to sit enough space away from the piano so that you can see the keys, you can relax your elbows by your sides, and you've got room to move side to side. And with our hand, we're gonna start by curving our fingers over so that you've got lovely bent knuckles so that you press the fingertips onto the keys, like this. For the first exercise, we're gonna start by just playing all five fingers. So we can start with our thumb on C, and we start with our little finger on G. And then the fingers in between will just cover D, E, and F. And we can go C, D, E, F, G. And make it really obvious what fingers you're pressing. Exaggerate the movement, so really pick your fingers up. And the aim is to try and not affect the other fingers that you're pressing. And do the same on the left hand that you do to the right hand. And remember, you have to reverse it the other way around. So our little finger will be on C and our thumb will be on G. In the second exercise, we're going to practice moving up and down the piano using the five fingers. We can start with C with our thumb and we can go one, two, three, four, five. Again, trying to exaggerate that movement. And from here, we're gonna keep moving our thumb up one key to move the whole position up. And from here, you can go backwards too. And you can also do this starting with your little finger going up. So our little finger will start on G, then it will move up to A. And once you've got all the way up to G, you're going to work your way back down in the same way. And the aim is to have the same amount of time between each finger press as we play. So it goes. Do the same with the left hand as well. In this third exercise, we're going to practice bringing the thumb under and bringing our fingers over the thumb. To do this exercise, it's essential that we have our fingers relaxing over so that we have room for our thumb to come under and for our fingers to go over our thumb. For this exercise, we're going to use the five notes between C and G. And we're going to go one, two, three, and this is where we keep our middle finger pressed down. And we're gonna bring our thumb under to press F. And notice when I press F, I lift off my middle finger. So if I was here, I bring my thumb under and I press and I lift at the same time. And then my fingers come over so that I use my second finger to press G. And then to go back down, we're going to go thumb, middle finger comes over. And as we press it, we lift our thumb off because we're going to bring our thumb under the fingers to go two, one. So the finger numbers for this go one, two, three, one, two, one, three, two, one. We also bring our thumb under when we use our fourth finger. So we're going to practice doing this too. So we go one, two, three, four this time, and we bring our thumb under to press G. Again, lifting the finger as you press G, and then you press F again with the fourth finger, and you go three, two, one. 
practice going up and down smoothly. Practice with the left hand as well, but this time you're going to start with your second finger on C and you go two, one, bring our middle finger over, three, two, one, two, three, one, two. This is because you have to do it backwards for the fingers that you do on your right hand. And for the fourth finger, you're going to start with your thumb on C and you bring your fourth finger over to press D. Notice I have to push my elbow out a little bit more. When you're bringing your thumb under your fourth finger, if I show you on my right arm, you have to push your elbow out slightly a little bit further so that you can press your thumb under. So we have to facilitate our hand by using our arm. Notice I don't have to push the elbow out as much when I press the middle finger. For the fourth exercise, we're going to press all of the naturals or the white notes between C and C. The key thing to notice is that there's eight keys between C and C. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. With C being the first and the eighth keys. We can break this eight into two by going three. And then we're gonna bring our thumb under to press F and we're going to go five fingers. One, two, three, four, five. I'll just show you that again. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. So the point where I bring my thumb under is between E and F. And to go backwards, we just reverse the fingers. Five, four, three, two, one. And we bring our middle finger over to press E. Remember to lift that thumb as you press E. To go three, two, one. And we're going to do the same on the left hand, but we reverse the fingers. So we go little finger on C. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring our middle finger over to press A. Three, two, one. And then we go two, three, one, two, three, four, five. In the last exercise we're doing, we're going to be playing the chromatic scale, which is all of the keys on the piano. The chromatic scale sounds like this. The easiest way to think about it is to press all of the notes that are closest to each other. If you can see here, if I go up, the closest note is this black note here. And again, and here, I don't have a note in the middle of these two, so I press this one. And then I go up. And it's the same when you go backwards. To play this easier, you're going to use your middle finger for the black notes only, and we're going to use our thumb for the white notes. So we go. But when we get to a gap, there's no black note in between, so to cross the gap, we're going to use our index finger, number two, to press the gap. And then we're back on our middle finger for the black notes. And our thumb for the whites. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three, one, three, one, three, one, two, three. And to go backwards, we use the same fingers, but remember, you don't want to be crossing over with the second finger. You have to keep it the same way round. So when you go backwards, you have to go three, two, one, three, one, three, one, three. When you get to a gap, you use your second finger, your thumb, and then three, one, three, two, one, three, one, three, one, three, two, one. And you can do the reverse on the left hand. One, three, one, three, two, one, three, one, three, one, three, two, one, three, one, three, two, one. To go backwards.
Practice these piano exercises as much as possible because it's going to help you with your dexterity, your control and your confidence when you're playing the piano. So that when you play the songs, you don't have to think about what fingers you're using. Thanks a lot. Feel free to subscribe to my channel as I post weekly covers and tutorials. I'll see you in the next video.